you guys carry yourself very well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, so Jordan, look, we've had a we've had a we've had a long old conversation. I've just realised it's like over an hour. Um, so so far, we've covered the uh, the preservation of the Quran. We've covered the um, the fact that you know the message throughout history has always been about worshiping one God uh, and and not straying from that. Um, we've spoken about you know various verses from the Quran and the challenges of the Quran that the, the Quran sets out challenges to you know that if you if you're in doubt about this book then go away and create a uh, create a chapter like it. We've spoken about Chat GPT. We've spoken about blockchains. Uh, <laughs> we've spoken about a fair few things um, And the conclusion out of all of this Is that, you know, that, that, that Islam is something that resonates with you um, You want to do your shahada in, in the masjid And inshallah, like I say, we will arrange that for you um, But right now, before the night is done um, I offered you to accept Islam and to accept uh, you know, to, to enter into the fold of Islam and to take your shahada. Uh, and is there anyone that's stopping you, uh, sorry, anyone that's forcing you to do this or anything that's making you feel like you're being pushed into it? Um, not forcing, no. <laughs> okay. But uh, is this a testify to be a part of Islam or a testify to be Muslim? This is, so essentially what happens is when you testify that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah and you testify that the Muhammad is his slave and his messenger, what that does is it brings you into the fold of Islam. If you were to die tomorrow, <laughs> just that, that right? If you were to die tomorrow, you would be buried as a Muslim. Yeah. And the reason why we say, look, don't don't hesitate to take that shahada and to take that step is because we don't know what's around the corner. Yeah, when it comes to learning and um, you know seeking knowledge and learning the intricate details of Islam and the hows and the whats, this is a lifetime journey. Yeah, but by testifying and ta and saying these words, that essentially, like I say, the biggest thing is is that should anything happen, you have the rights of a Muslim over me. Yeah, and you know you, you if you're in any need. Where when we are, then uh, uh, we have to assist you. If you were to die, you would be buried as a Muslim. Yeah, the very fact that you've taken the shahada, this is something which will stand for you in front of your Lord on the day of judgment. Yeah, and when you reach your grave, even if you were to die tomorrow, you would be like a newborn baby. The second you take your shahada, any previous sin that you have ever done, anything you have ever done prior to this point in your life, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I will change, for, uh, woman, um, uh, the, the verse will lose me right now, but, وَمَنْ آمَنَ وَعَمِلَ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا فَأُولَٰئِكَ يُبَدِّلُ اللَّهُ سَيِّئَاتِهِمْ حَسَنًا that anybody who believes and does good deeds, huh? Anybody who believes and does good deeds, I will change their bad deeds into good deeds for them. Anybody who repents, believes and does good deeds, I will change their bad deeds into good deeds for them. So you, my friend, you will be in a better position than me, who is born Muslim, who carries a lifetime of sin. Just saying those those two those two um, things. I bear witness hey, that Muhammad that that uh, there is no god to worth worthy of worship except Allah, and that Muhammad peace be upon him is his slave and messenger, and Jesus is his is his messenger, and all the other prophets were messengers of God. This will save you from the hellfire. No doubt, no doubt, and like I say. You're going to get me to say I'm going to get you So we're going to say it in English And we're going to say it in Arabic And I'm going to translate for you And I'll talk you through it Bit by bit And if there's any problem You just stop me And I'll, I'll repeat for you okay. Jordan, you ready? I'm ready Bismillah yeah. Okay, you say Ashhadu Ashhadu An An La ilaha La ilaha 
إلا الله إلا الله و و أشهد أشهد أن أن محمدا محمدا عبده عبده و و رسوله رسوله I bear witness I bear witness there is no deity there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah worthy of worship except Allah and I bear witness and I bear witness that Muhammad peace be upon him that Muhammad peace be upon him is his slave and messenger is his slave and messenger Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Jordan with these words I say to you Assalamu Alaikum my brother my brother Thank you are you. you are now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran Innama al-mu'minuna ikhwa the verily the believers are brothers and sisters to one another so now you take that you take that uh, that right over me yeah and I take that right over you that as brothers we have rights over each other you need help you you let us know you 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 go into any mosque not to say that you weren't welcome before even as a non-muslim but now as a muslim you go into any mosque and you announce yourself as a muslim what i'm going to try and do inshallah is i'm going to arrange for you uh, i'm going to see where the 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 nearest mosque do you know where the nearest mosque to you is i suppose let me ask that I, first i only have one one mosque here okay one more okay so what i'll do is i'll try and get in touch with those guys and i'll arrange a day for you to go in right to go and meet the imam um and what it would be good is if you can get yourself there during these nights of ramadan that would be amazing because you'd be able to really experience the full uh the full flavor of ramadan and you know the night prayer and opening the fast communally with with uh with all the community you know it'll be a perfect place for you to go there uh testify take the shahada again in front of everybody right take the shahada in front of everybody so they all know you as somebody who's accepted islam right so they if they see you down the street they see you if they see you in trouble or they see you need something just they see you and they say assalamu alaikum you know, may peace and blessings be upon you. This is the greeting of a Muslim. That even when you see each other, you pray for each other. May peace and blessings of God be upon you. How do you say it? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Perfect. Perfect. Jordan, there's also... Um, okay, so as, as a Muslim now, the most important thing for you to do, okay, is to try and start establishing the prayer. Okay, as you know, as Muslims, it's obliga uh, obligated upon us to pray five times a day. You're a new Muslim, you have time. Okay, it's not from tomorrow. If you can do it from tomorrow, amazing. Okay, but if you don't, there's there's leeway and you know there's excuses as a new Muslim that you have. Don't procrastinate on it, and and I'm sure you won't because the opportunity to accept Islam came to you today and you didn't procrastinate on it. Yeah. And and I can see you as a, you 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 seem like a sincere individual who won't procrastinate. Um, but just bear in mind, you do have a little bit of leeway. If you know, sometimes as new Muslims, it's hard to adapt and uh, get into. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you some. Um, I'm going to send you some uh, a goodie bag, and in that it has a prayer mat with everything that you need to know for the prayer written in English. So it would be very, very easy for you to start establishing the prayer as soon as possible. The other Thank thing you, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get you a membership to Knowledge College, uh, which is an online train, uh, uh, um, an online academy for Islamic knowledge. Uh, we're going to get you onto the beginners program. OK, you're going to start learning. It's a self-paced study program. Um, you know they've got a Muslim survival guide, so it's going to teach you the basics that you need to know about Islam, how to pray properly, you know which supplications to make, 
it's going to take you through the A to Z. You've got my number. So anytime you're not sure about something or you you want clarification on something, Allah says in the Quran, فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلُ الذِّكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Ask those who know if you if, if, if you indeed don't know yourself. Yeah. So Islam is all about verification, making sure that, you know, what you're doing is correct and you've got the evidences for it. So I'm going to send you a few video links now, um, some stuff that you can uh, start watching immediately. It's a, sh it's a shame you're so far away. Otherwise, I would have jumped in the car and come down to see you. But um, hey, that's uh, that that's uh, one of those things. But I'm sure in the future we can arrange for for us to meet up. Inshallah, that would be that would be lovely uh, if we if we get a chance to do that. Um, right now, is there are there any other questions that you have for me? Okay, Allah Akbar. Yeah, the the, the heart pumping is. Uh, this is you know. One of the reasons why you've taken it, you've taken a shahada so easily, is because it's the month of Ramadan. You know the the the, the devils are chained and locked up. The shaitan is locked up. Yeah, the shaitan is locked up during this month. You know, and um, the fact that you just so easily took the shahada and and accepted the truth, this this is testament to the fact that that Ramadan is a mercy. This month is a mercy. This month is a um, is is a is a baraka. It's a blessing, in and of itself. So, um, yeah. And I am someone who does take my time to make decisions with life. I like to be calculated, but I have been practicing. As as you know, I've been trying. I have been doing my research. And as soon as you said um, that, don't wait. Yeah. You know, because tomorrow guaranteed. I have been having the feeling these past few days that, you know. What if I don't wake up tomorrow morning? Do you know what I mean? Mm. I have that, that feeling just randomly. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Mm. And Amazing. Think that, that words resonated with me to the point where it made me be like, you know what? what? Yes, it makes sense. There's there's no reason to say no. Yeah. If I say no, it's my own mistake. Do you yeah. know what I mean? That's yeah. how I would feel. And, and that, there's people who say, mm, you know, I yeah, okay, I believe, but I'm not quite ready and this, that and the other, but you know, you didn't do that at all, and the, the second the chance came to you, you just sort of, you jumped at it, and that and that's amazing to see, and that's testimony to, you know, that's that's a blessing, that's a blessing Allah has bestowed upon you, you know, because not everybody has that. There's there's people who 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 waste years and years. Oh, I need to check this. Oh, I need to, I need to learn more about this, and I need to learn more about that, and who knows how many of them. They, they they never actually make make it to the point of actually accepting Islam, you know. Um, so yeah, hats off to you and and, and congratulations. Um, at this point in time, if you have any other questions, let me know. Uh, if not, I'm gonna ask for your permission to be excused and 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 just uh, get to the get to the mosque with my family. But please, 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 Jordan, if you can get yourself there as well, if you can. <laughs> Just jump in the car and just drive down to the mosque. And just be like, "Hey guys, I'm I'm the new, I'm the I'm the new Muslim," <laughs> you know. And it will be I'm sure uh, it will be a pleasure for us to to have you there. Honestly, it will be a pleasure for us to have you at the mosque with us. Thank you so much for your time, brother. You're very really very welcome. Anytime, Jordan. My lines open anytime. Message me, drop me a WhatsApp. If there's anything I can do to help you, I will. Um, and if not, I will try and guide you to the right person. Thank you, and I'm sure you'll um, uh, connect me with the online. Um, I'm gonna get uh, give me give me a day or two, uh, and I'll get you some. I'll get you all the details that you need, inshallah. Perfect, Jordan. It's been an absolute pleasure speaking to you. Um, may Allah subhanahu wa taala bless you during this blessed month of Ramadan. May Allah give you the uh, the tawfiq, the ability. To continue your journey as as a new Muslim, uh, may Allah grant you the ability to learn about this religion uh, in in its in its totality, and may He make you a source of good for others. May He make you a source of good for others to guide your family, to guide your friends around you, um, and may Allah make you firm in your belief. Allahumma amin. Say amin, 
Amin means Amen. Amin. Amin. Jordan, it's been a pleasure, my friend. We will definitely speak soon, yeah? Thank you. I Enjoy your time at the mall. I'll try. I'll try to get myself down there. Okay. Yeah. Do that, and if if not today, do it. De definitely do it tomorrow. The night prayer normally starts about uh, half past nine, quarter to ten, and it lasts about an hour. So you know, if you can't make it today, then then try it tomorrow. I'll give you a call tomorrow just to remind you. Okay. Thank you. Good stuff, Jordan. Salam alaikum. Salam.